Kyo Shitani from Nagoya University. The title of my talk is New Key Recovery Attacks and New Articula and Even Mansu Cyphers. This is the general work, it's Takano Misobe. We focus on uh, Even Mansu Cypher in this work, uh, proposed in 1991. Uh, it is known as one of the simplest clock cipher design, uh, which consists of one fixed and public partition key. <coughs> And uh, two directions before and after partition. Uh, for emit EM cipher, even Mansour uh, shows the uh, information theoretic bound uh, that any attacks uh, requires at least uh, two to the n dt, where t uh, is a great complexity uh, which causes uh, the number of queries to the information library k, and t is a time complexity which calls the uh, number of queries to the internal permutation P. And after the proposal, uh, they then uh, showed the uh, chosen plane text attack, uh, matching uh, the bound, um, dt equals to the n. Then, uh, the camera network uh, shows a non plane text attack, which requires uh, to do the d and non plane text and to do the n minus d at times. So uh, those results uh, require that the uh, proof bounds on of uh, equal mass cipher is actually tight. <coughs> In Europe 2012, uh, Bogdan et al. Uh, generalized uh, the EM cipher to multiple rounds. And it is proved to be secure uh, uh, up to, to, to the 2m over 3 queries against distinguished attacks. After the uh, original result, uh, several follow up work uh, regarding global security uh, have been published. Finally, TRAM even Manso cycle is secure up to, to, to Tn over T plus 1 queries against distinct attacks. Also, uh, minimal construction without losing security uh, for EM cipher has been discussed. For one of the construction, Dinkham uh, et al. shows that uh, a single key construction provides uh, exactly the same security uh, of uh, the two round construction which means uh, k0 equals k1. For two-hand construction, chain network shows uh, two variants of them are uh, secure up to, to the 2n over 3 queries. These two, two design uh, considered to be minimal <coughs> since uh, removing any components from them uh, causes uh, less security. So uh, the first one, uh, called 2 in 1 in this talk, consists of two distinct uh, permutations, P1 and P2, and uh, single key addition three times. And second one, uh, called 2 in 2 in this talk, consists of the same uh, permutation P, and it has a uh, simple key splitting function pi. We focus on these two designs in this talk. So this is a summary of security analysis on two EM one and two uh, with respect to DT uh, when N equals 64. So this uh, green line shows uh, security bounds uh, for two EM one and uh, this yellow line is the bounds for two EM two approved by chain as well. So uh, the area uh, below uh, these lines are considered to be secure. On the other hand, uh, generic distinct attack, distinguishing attack uh, was proposed by Gazi in 2013. Uh, they showed the uh, uh, distinct attack, distinguishing attack uh, required the T22 equals to the T2M. So uh, the area uh, above this line is considered to be insecure uh, against the distinguished attack. So 
So in addition to distinguished attacks, so some uh, key recovery attacks have been proposed uh, as, uh, as attacks to the block cycle LED. So first, I think it had proposed a non printed key recovery attacks uh, on 2EM1, which requires 2 to 61 time and 2 to 59 uh, non plain text. Then, you know, it will improve their results, which requires 2 to 60 time and 2 to 45 non plain text. So, uh, both results require uh, more than uh, 2 to 32 data because uh, they uh, use um, much more on full state of the target. So this is the best result uh, on 2 and one uh, so far. So there still uh, exists a large gap between uh, the proof bound and the uh, actual attack. So our question is, the 2 and one and 2 are more secure than 1 EM with respect to keep cover attacks. So we propose uh, a chosen plaintiff low time attack, the progress here. So we believe that uh, our result uh, slightly improves the previous result, but it still requires a lot of data. So we also propose a chosen plaintiff low data attack. It, it requires uh, much less data. So we think this is the first result requiring uh, less than 2 to 32 data, which is the first one. <laughs> so this is a summary of our contributions. So we propose new key recovery attacks on to EM1 one and 2 uh, based on meter intermediate attack. This is the first attack requiring less than 2 to the N over 2 data, mainly thanks to meter intermediate frame 1. So actually, our low data attack requires the t equals two to the n plus six. So uh, the attack uh, for one em requires the t equals two to the n. So this bound is uh, close to uh, the t equals two to the n. So it implies that uh, two em uh, one and two. Uh, not much secure than one yen at this point. So let me introduce uh, our basic approach to uh, to apply the meter intermediate attack, attack to to yen one. So our idea is very simple. So first we divide uh, n with k into two keys. K0 and K1. K0 is a bit and K1 is n minus a bit. Then, so we find two key dependent functions, uh, f and g. So f consists of the permutation p1 and uh, K0 additions before and after the p1. And g consists of K1 additions and the encryption oracle dk. So then, so we try to uh, mount the meter in the new attack on this construction. So obviously, we can compute x and y from S independently because uh, both function f and g do not share the key information. However, for matching on P2, so we need another key information, K0 and K1. So it seems to be difficult uh, to apply the meter intermediate attack to this design. So uh, we introduce two new techniques to bypass uh, this part. <coughs> so the first idea is called matching with the input restricted distributed partition. For any y1, if we obtain x0 and v1 without knowing k0, 
the matching is possible. However, for each Y1, uh, the number of candidates of XL and V1 is uh, uh, about 2 to the A. So it means we need to compute 2 to the N computations uh, to calculate uh, XL V1 from Y1. But if we can fix uh, some uh, input of P2, like X0, we can fix uh, X0. We can prepare the computation table uh, of P2 with less than 2 to the n computation. Because uh, input space of P2 is uh, reduced to 2 to the n minus a. So the next problem is how to fix uh, such X0. So we use another technique called partial invariant pairs. Partial invariant pair is a pair of um, x input x and a part of output y prime, uh, such that uh, x uh, y prime is not affected by k. In other words, y prime is unchanged for all k. We can find such in, uh, such partial invariant pairs uh, by brute force search. It requires about two to the b to two to the a computation. It is clear that uh, uh, the required computation uh, rapidly grows uh, by parameter a, so a must be small. So now we can have a fixed X0 and the computation table of P2. Uh, we can uh, do matching here. Then, so, meeting the middle of attack is successfully mounted on 2 and 1. So let me introduce uh, our basic attack procedure. In opening phase, first, we find the uh, partial invariant pair uh, S X0 of FK0 and make a, a computation table of P1. Then we make a precomputation table of P2 by using the fixed X0. So now we have we have fixed X0 and the computation table of P2 and P1. In online phase First, we guess uh, K1 and compute Y by using the function G with uh, some phrase to the encryption record. Then, uh, compute V from Y by using the precomputation table of P2. And finally, so we check if uh, X1 prime equals V1 plus K1 is in the precomputation <coughs> in the precomputation table of P1. If we can find such uh, uh, X1 prime, the corresponding K0 and K1 uh, must to be a candidate of the correct key. So this is complex analysis. Uh, the first step requires 2 to the a uh, to, to to the a p1 computations and 2 to the a blocks memory. Step two uh, requires 2 to the n minus a p2 computations and 2 to the n minus a blocks memory. In online phase, uh, steps one to three uh, expected to be repeated 2 to the n minus a times. So uh, it requires 2 to the n minus a memory accesses and 2 to the n minus a chosen plain text. So here is a summary of evaluation for basic attack on our, uh, our basic attack on 2 and one For example, uh, the case of uh, n equals 6 equals 64, we need uh, 2 to the 60 time and the 2 to the 60 data. 
And it is a cross to the 2 to the 64, uh, which is required uh, by the uh, force attack. So our attack does not seem to be much efficient than the brute force attack. So we propose further improvement. The first is a uh, low data path. So the main idea to reduce uh, the data complexity is that uh, we fix uh, more bits of the brain text like this. So it is possible by using degree of freedom of star state S for each K1L, uh, K1L we choose S1L so that K1L plus uh, S1L is constant. By dynamically computing partial invariant pairs in the matching phase. Then, the number of ways uh, to the encryption of EK, uh, which is the data complexity, is reduced to, to, to the n minus a minus d. Because uh, the space of plain text is reduced to n minus a minus d bits. So this is a, a summary of evaluation of our own time attacks on 2 and 1. And for example, n equals 6 of our case, we need only 2 to 8 data. So also, uh, the case for n equals 128, the required data is still 2 to 8. We also propose a time optimized tab. The main idea uh, to reduce uh, time complexity is that we fix some uh, bits of Pito input by using the uh, degree of freedom of state, uh, star state S. So we can fix more C bits uh, here. Then the number of sprays to uh, the International permutation P, which is a uh, time complexity, is reduced to, to, to the n minus a minus c. So here's a summary of the evaluation on our time optimized attack on to one. So our time optimized attack uh, can uh, reduce some time complexity, but uh, it is a slightly slight improvement. So we propose a new recovery attacks on minimal design of two round given ones of ciphers. Our attacks are based on meeting the middle attack. So to apply meeting the middle attack uh, to two round given ones of ciphers, we introduce two new techniques. We also show two optimization, optimization with respect to the data complexity and the time complexity. In particular, our raw data attack uh, requires uh, the t equal to the n plus 6. So uh, we need uh, 2 to the 8 chosen current text and uh, 2 to the n minus 2 computations for any n. So it it's, uh, implies that uh, 2 em 1 and 2 is not much secure than 1 em at this point. And our attack is the first attack requiring less than 2 to the n minus uh, n over 2 bit. Thank you for your attention. Questions? Uh, can this attack apply to the general even master cycle? Generalize? Yes, general even master cycle. Uh, we try it so we can apply our attack to three round. Three round. Three round even master ciphers, but uh, uh, they use an identical key. And a single three round construction, we can possible. We can uh, attack. But uh, maybe general construction has a distinct key. Uh, even for the two round, the general two round even master cycle. Uh, but uh, um, 
natural that we do not so cipher, but it identical key is good to, to be secure. Uh, uh, have the same security with a uh, uh, two and uh, even master with uh, two or three distinct key. <laughs> More questions? Uh, maybe I didn't follow, but uh, uh, with your work. If we will attack work better if the foundations are the same. Uh, for for, for, for two and one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We work the same. <laughs> so that's the same. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any more questions? If not, let's thank the speaker and all other speakers in the session.